long back many 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 months ago i think it was probably two years ago maybe three years ago i actually made a video on uh, jira cloud mobile app and today what i want to do i want to of course uh, do a revisit of the mobile app jira mobile app from atlassian and uh, what i want to do is of course i want to take a look at uh, how this app works after two years and uh, i do have some memory to be honest uh, i don't really use the mobile app because i don't have to i don't feel the need to use the mobile app for jira i usually use uh, the uh, the web interface but i thought i'll give it a try again after i guess two years so when you open the mobile app you have to first sign up and uh, once you sign up you have to select you can of course go to your account and uh, you can then configure what uh, site you want to access so for example i have access to few more than one uh, one sites so i can of course go to the account and i can configure it so when you open the app you have i believe uh, four tabs at the very bottom so by the way i'm looking at the mobile app on uh, android in case you want to do something similar on android you can take a look at the app so i i, I want to quickly take a look at what all i can do um i know that the mobile app is mo the mobile app is not like the web interface you cannot really do each and everything but i, I guess you can still do quite a lot of course based on your permission so of course we can take a look at the uh, projects and since i have the admin rights i believe i can do something like this i can also create a project so that is a really amazing so when you create a new project maybe you want to create a project of type uh, scrum or maybe you want to create uh, something else so maybe uh, i can select kanban scrum project management task tracking and that is it really i don't really have an option to select uh, or create uh, a project of type jira service management so when you open G let us say your android project which is of course of type software i can uh, I, i can take a look at uh, uh, things like uh, and by the way the screen is not really updating so let me just uh, open the the app again and try to show my screen once one once more i think there is a problem just just give me a second okay so we are back to the list of projects so what i wanted to do wanted to do is i wanted to i wanted to go inside the android project which is of course of type uh, software and i can take a look at the backlog i believe and uh, you have all the backlog issues you have the option to also take a look at the road map which is great so um let me let me just uh, maybe create a new issue so let us say uh, this is a new issue so this is of course uh, i can do from my backlog view um if within my within my um mobile app and uh, you can also create i believe a story or a bug so when you change these options at the very bottom you can basically create uh, uh, this is a bug and once you create a new story or whatever you want to do uh, you can either do it uh, within the within the existing sprint which i just did accidentally but i can also go back to my backlog and at the very bottom you have the same option to create a new story or epic or bug i think uh, it is relevant it it is basically based on uh, what issue types you have now when you are looking at the backlog uh, or not the backlog but the road map what i want to do is i want to create uh, maybe a new epic so this is uh, epic and create and hopefully it will appear uh, somewhere i believe so i'll go back okay no not yet so i'm trying to create the epic from the uh, view where i have the uh road map so can i i can't really look at the road map i don't really have any option what what i was hoping to do i was hoping to basically create maybe uh an epic so let, let us create an epic from this view so i'll go back to the backlog and i will uh, create uh, maybe a new epic here epic 1 enter 
and okay we are within the epic so what we need to do now we need to enter epic name i believe okay fine and uh, create so once you create a new epic will it appear in the roadmap mm, no not really not really oh yeah it, it does it does so now we have one one epic and uh, maybe i can create uh, web, one more epic I, I guess epic 2 i will uh, give it a name one more time create and it will definitely appear in the in the roadmap and i guess it will also show some kind of a progress so if i go inside an epic i guess i should be able to associate it to maybe or maybe i can create further further issues under it can i can i do it from this view so on top i'm looking at uh, this option called create subtask or link issues so if i link it to maybe maybe let us say couple of stories so let me find my story one maybe one more story the app works i mean uh, no problem so far it it is of course not as smooth i mean that because it is it is a, it is a mobile app we have to do few additional things we have to basically go through a couple of steps to do the same thing if you're comparing it with the web interface but it works and it is not that difficult i mean this is my first initial impression i'll probably uh, give it another go after her some time and uh, maybe if i go back to the epic the epic one i can see here that we have hopefully we're gonna see the related issues so okay we have linked issues okay both of them are done maybe i'll create uh, can i can i create a new story or whatever i want to uh, from here so select issue do i have okay i'll just link it to bug what i was hoping to do is i was hoping to maybe create a new story from this interface so maybe i'm working on uh, on a new absolutely new epic and i want to plan some work can i do it from here i am not sure <laughs> it's okay we'll we'll figure it out i mean i'm just giving you this initial impression and uh, reports okay so no report so far no velocity report nothing uh can, maybe i can uh, take a look at the release so this is of course uh, fine i mean uh, i can see few things but what if i create maybe uh, maybe if i take a look at an, an uh, maybe something else maybe some other project where i may be able to take a take a look at the i guess i should also have some sample okay no not really <laughs> all right so that is fine so let me take a look at the jira service management okay so, so the first thing that you will notice is your queue and you can take a look at all the queues which is fine if i go inside maybe one of the issue this is my i believe a service request it says on top the the i mean it will show you all the transitions that i can make and uh, it is showing you the same thing that you normally see from the web interface you have the option to i mean on my cloud instance i do have zoom app so it is showing you the option here called zoom open zoom i think i should be able to uh do something here so it looks all right i can also record my screen i can also can i just do something here like uh, maybe i want to assign it to someone yeah i can assign it to someone yeah that is fine i can uh, add a comment and since we are talking about jira service management we should have the option to add a customer comment or internal comment so i just want to add internal comment not really a customer comment so this is all good and let me go to the issues i think these are all the filters that i have if i open one of the filter it will show me show me the issues it is of course very simplified view and then you have notification where i believe uh, anything that is related to you will get displayed so what i wanted to do is let us create a new project i mean while you are looking at it, it's like let us let's create a new scrum project and i want to basically uh, see how it works so scrum great project and uh, the good thing is you do, the good thing is that you can do it from the mobile app and of course in the beginning you don't really have anything you do have the option to take a look at the 
backlog which is of course empty let us create a story one i'm just trying to figure out what all we can do so story one story two and uh, if i go inside the story i may want to create a subtask i should be able to do it uh, so there is an option here okay child issues okay i think this is the option that i was looking for like child one and uh, this works fine child two <clears throat> so this is all good can we now start maybe uh, maybe a new sprint from here can we i'm not sure <laughs> so on top no we don't really have an option here okay so we have the option to create a sprint sprint one okay and what i want to do i want to basically add the issues to my sprint okay move to sprint okay okay not bad i also want to estimate maybe um, because we are doing story points we are we are following agile so five the next one what else okay we'll we'll probably add five more here no so 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 i want to add some estimates maybe six it's a big activity so let us go back now we have the sprint and the total the total story points uh, we have is 11 we can start the sprint we can set the duration we can have sprint goal sprint start date and so on and start the sprint and once you start the sprint you're like in the in the column view and i believe you should be able to drag and drop okay not not bad actually not bad okay okay oh, come on no 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 go back to the in progress okay i'm just trying to drop it to in progress okay it works it works not bad at all so let me just try to move it to done oh no yep no it's a bit it works but it is not i mean you have to be like I, i'm sure if you're you, like doing it on the on the landscape mode then it should be slightly easy okay so let us move it to done again no <laughs> it's a bit funny so i'll just open the issue and i'll change the status to to i'm just trying to figure out okay so on top you have the option to change the status and i, and I quite like the way that you have the option to do these things i mean the theme is black is 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 dark so which is which is i think uh, the thing these days you have like the black background and uh, it, it is not really black but it is in this in my case uh, on my mobile it is like darkish blue which is uh, fine because uh, everyone is following this dark theme these days so we have the roadmap i also want to give this give this roadmap one more view one more chance basically i wanted to add a subtask easily so we'll add a new epic create okay we have the epic and if you open the epic i should be able to okay so this is the option that you need to use add child issues just like the the web interface i was trying to link it earlier it is in a way link but i mean you are now creating these stories while you are uh, working on the plan on the fly which is great save so as you can see i am doing a lot of things and i'm doing it quite easily i can add a description here i believe i guess this is uh, my description save go back and uh, i was hoping to see some kind of uh, a view where i can uh, also take a look at maybe that you know gantt chartish view okay so we have we have the option to enable features so roadmap is enabled backlog is enabled sprint reports okay we want reports release and versioning okay do we want to, to link it to code deployment I, I think there are a lot of options okay so these are available on desktop not on the not on the mobile app so let us take a look at the report okay so we have a, a beautiful report so th this looks good actually i mean uh, i'm trying to do this on the mobile app so we have the cumulative flow diagram we have the burn down chart great 
I quite like it. I think uh, this is good. This is great. I believe you can also create a new release if you want, like a uh, version. Let us create a new version, and we have the release here. Overall, I think good good work, and I think it is definitely definitely an improvement from last time when I checked. There are so many things that you can do now, and uh, I guess uh, we have the notifications, so it will also send some notifications. I guess some push notifications kind of a thing like those pop-up things that you receive uh, i find them a bit annoying i usually prefer keeping uh, the notifications turned off but you have the option if you want to get notified every minute based on of course uh, how much how much work you're doing where all you're needed and uh, we also can take a look at the next 10 project which is of course similar uh, to to your normal scrum project I guess, and uh, the way it works is quite good. So overall, good work. I quite like the uh, the mobile app. A as I mentioned before, I don't really use the mobile app myself, so I'm not really saying that. Uh, um, it, I, I mean, I, I, I'm trying to give you my honest feedback. Feedback. If I am able to do something without any help. If I'm able to navigate um, in my Jira instance, if I'm able to take a look at my projects, I'm also able to create a new project. I'm also able to change the status of the issues, create new issues, create epics with stories, create subtasks, assign it to someone, add comments. I, I think uh, these are a lot of things already. And you can also take a look at some of the reports. So overall, good work. I think. Uh, uh, people will definitely like the mobile app. I I'm not sure if you're using it already or not, because I don't really have much experience. So do let me know if uh, if you are using mobile app, Jira mobile app or not. And that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.